I think history matters because it gives a reflection of what has occurred in the past. It matters because if you don't know the foundation of the soil that you stand on, you might as well be in quicksand. It gives you a clear perspective of the state in which you matriculate. It gives you a sense that you either clearly understand the history and you accept that, or you clearly understand it and you want to change it. So you have you have that rich that rich part of history that, that why you know why should I know about uh, the history of the state of Kansas? Is it important for me to to, to understand the dynamics, if you will, uh, of what makes Kansas a great state? The definition of history is half fact, half fiction, half interpretation. And the thing that gets us into trouble is the interpretation piece. I try to teach it from a vantage point of fact, not only what I know, but what I lived. I think my elementary school experience taught me at a very early age that race and ethnicity was very critical. And that what I found that I needed to join this network of people who were committed to diversity and who would work on race and ethnicity. And so that's always been the foundation of my work, regardless of the role I played. We got a long way to go yet. Now we said to do this here 15, 20 years ago. And I think effort must come about to get more people involved in that whole process. Faculty and individuals and uh, community leaders. I think it should be told every day because our young brothers and sisters who are on campus now, they don't understand it. It's not all about uh, Greek fraternities and, and uh, Black Faculty Staff Alliance and, and uh, Black Student Union. Those things are, are critical, they're important, but there are other things that preceded that to make those things happen. They need to understand that. They need to hear that history.